have my Ortlieb quick release rack here and I'm going to show you how I attach my Revelate Design nano paneers onto this specific rack. Uh, they are left and right dependent. Uh, it really depends on where the volet strap goes. So if I was to place it on this one like so and spot it to where I would attach it up top there with these straps, you can see the volet strap and if you can, is right there and it can attach there to hold the bottom part down. If I try and do it on the other one, put it where I would attach the top part, you see the volet strap is on this side. So they are left and right dependent. And the way I do it is I do this off the bike. So the way it works is you take the Velcro strap and then you go around this loop here, like so. Pull that through and then you put it lining up on this Velcro here. Do the, oh, make sure sometimes I've put, I'm not paying attention and this strap that goes across the top has been caught down here and I've got to redo it. So make sure that this strap, which is a top securing strap, you know, you can tie it down that way, is out of the way. And then what we do is we do the other side. And like I said, it's a little, little challenging to do it. And that goes through that way, like so, and then you attach it that way. And you can see this spar is in the way. So this would be kind of difficult on the bike, especially to get to this strap here. And then the volet, I believe you just go through like this. They have a video specifically about this on their YouTube channel. And you do the volet strap like so. And then you, it's very important, and they specify on, this, on the uh, YouTube video that you get the uh, excess out of the way. And there's a little O-ring here that you slide it into and be done with it. I'm not going to do that. So once they're on the bike, I would fill up the bag there. And the reason I mention that is because it ha it's, they're really light, by the way. It has this semi-solid or semi-stiff piece of plastic in here or carbon fiber, whatever this is. And if you were to load the bag off the bike, depending on how you load it, when I loaded it, it tends to, t this tends to bend like so, so that these straps pull away from where it would go on the rack. So when you go to put it on the rack, it's not flat. And you've got to battle to tie it down and unbend it. And since it's been packed already, it's a little bit difficult. So I would recommend packing them while they're already on the rack. And yeah, so that's it. It's a really good bag, very lightweight. Um, but again, the point of this is I find it's easier, especially because of this specific rack, to take the rack on and off the bike at the end of the day and beginning of the day rather than trying to mess with the panniers. I'll just take the whole rack off. Here we have the Old Man Mountain Rack with the Mountain Laurel Designs bags. And the way these bags work, if you watch their demonstration video, you have a, this clip on this side and that attaches to the strap on this side and the clip on this side here attaches to the strap on this side. And you do that like so. And the thing is, in the demonstration video, they have it on the, you know, there's no platform here. There's no separate bar for the bag to go on. It's on the top there. So it's pretty easy to get to this strap. So what I find is it's a little bit more difficult if, you, if this was on the bike to get to this strap. So I always put it on when it's off the bike. I'll put this, I'll attach this, I'll put this here, flip this out of the way like so, so I can get to the strap, run it through as needed, do the same on the other side, and then that way, You've got it so that it's hinged and you can get to it. And the way this bag works is they give you a strip of Velcro, a roll of Velcro, which I think is actually a little too short. I think it's like 18 inches. They really should give you like two feet because there's trial and error to get these at a particular length for your rack. And then you put these in here and they also support it. They wrap upon themselves like so. You know, so can you imagine trying to do this with the wheel in the way and also every night having to do this to take the bag off? There's four on this side. And I think the Velcro more or less keeps it where it needs to be, you know, from shifting around side to side. The Velcro helps do that in addition to supporting it. And then they give you that you're supposed to put, use these straps here that you've pre-cut to secure it at the bottom. And then they give you a carabiner, which I don't have attached because the way I do it, I'm going to do it this way. But they do give you a carabiner to attach to secure the bag that way. So once they're on the rack, uh, it's easier almost to take the rack off. This rack comes off with four, you know, four millimeter bolts. So if I got to take it off, I think that's the way I'm going to take it off because that's certainly going to be easier than taking the bags off individually. It's quicker just to take the whole rack off. It also has the same issue with 
you know, also load it when it's on the rack because again, it has a semi soft backing. It's actually a little bit uh, more flexible than the other one. Um, and that will deform if you pack it first before it's on the rack. It won't stay flat against the rack like we wanted to. It will bow out like so. One thing I did want to mention comparing them between the two, what I do like about the nano paneers is they have this additional bar here across the front that you pull and can tighten down and compress the bag a little bit. Whereas this one, it does have a rib there, but it, there's nothing you can do about, you know, you can't, you can't uh, flatten it or anything like that. You can't compression it or anything. It's just there to add some support and structure to the bag. But what's good about the microwaves are that you have this and you have these, you can pull these tight once you get the bag packed. And you also have this top strap that can come along once you've sealed it. You know, and then you can run this across like so, and then pull it tight. And these aren't listed as waterproof. I think they're kind of water resistant because I don't think these seams are taped. So I think the material is waterproof. They don't want you to put anything critical in here. And whereas this one is listed as waterproof. And I think it's because the, it is taped on the inside. I'll put a link to the Mountain Laurel Design uh, website with his directions, but I just did want to point that out that if you do have this platform, it's a little bit more complicated to attach the bags to the rack. You know, in reality, you end up do emptying the whole paneer sometimes, so it might not be that big of a deal. Well, I just want you to know when you buy these bags that they're not that convenient. They're a little bit more uh, sophisticated with the way they mount to the racks, both of these bags. But they're uber light, and uh, I really like them a lot so far. And I'm going to take them on this trip. I'll report back how they are.